Hey yo, what's up friend? This is Arun and welcome to my channel Forums Creation. So today I will teach you how to make a VFX video. So firstly I will show you the output. Now you can see the output. I have added uh, these clouds, this man and this base individually. And I have used some where Photoshop to crop the base and all these color correction and all these things I have used this Adobe After Effects. So let's see how to get this type of work with After Effects CC. So firstly open uh, Adobe After Effects then these are the files I will use. So this is the sword man. So I will drag directly or you can select all the files like these three files. Mm, now go to this After Effects in this project panel and uh, you have to leave this okay now this is the main footage you can see the preview on here and uh, drag it to this icon then a new composition will be automatically created okay now firstly we have to remove this unwanted area uh, to do this go to effect then king then key light 1.2 in the screen color select this eyedropper tool and take a selection from anywhere on the screen like if i want to remove the green take a selection of this green this green will be deleted automatically means it will be hide uh, then go to this screen matte and uh, for clip masking uh, okay that's fine and uh, I want to remove this all black shade around it so if you increase the value of this clip black in this way you can reduce this so that's fine and go to project again then uh, this is the layer of this man footage now I want to hide all these unwanted elements so I will create a mask on this so select this pen tool and uh, take a selection from there now the mask is working now you can see okay that's fine that's very cool okay now this is my cloud footage now drag it here and uh, whenever you transform it press shift on the keyboard so that you can uh, maintain the aspect ratio mm, suppose I want okay from this point I want to I want my working area okay this is the cloud layer Okay, now it is selected now go to edit then the split layer now this layer will be split into two parts okay now I will check it again okay this I want to trim it so I will select my working area this is the working area I want and you can move this point now right click on there go to trim composition to working area now this is my working area I want this final footage okay that's fine and uh, I want a base of this composition so here is my base you can see there I will use this base so I have to crop it in the Photoshop Now I'm in the Photoshop. So choose this quick selection tool and take a selection of this bottom. So this is easy. Now click on this mask. Now you will get this something like this. And uh, go to this adjustment layer, then go to levels. I want to make it more dark, something like this. You can see there okay that's fine 
and uh, choose here this mask and uh, I will apply a brush around the edges so that we can get very realistic scene of this that's fine okay mm, go to this file then I have to save this as PSD file in project 33 and uh, give you a name of this file now the file has been saved okay now drag this PSD file directly to the after effect in the project panel mm, uh, you will get a uh, option editable layers style okay click on this uh, and uh, directly drag this to composition and uh, I want to control and uh, you can see this base okay that's fine this is now working and I want to make it large okay, something like this I want and move it to down mm. okay now we have this man this base and these are clouds and for these clouds uh, I think uh, okay that's fine and go to this man layer I want this position okay this is fine I want this okay now I will check it Okay, that's fine it is working and one thing I want to do in Photoshop go to Photoshop then click on new I want a new layer mm, go to this adjustment layer then gradient uh, but before that we have to set the color of this foreground to black go to this uh, gradient now I want this black now hide this or you can delete this layer background layer uh, can okay now you can work with the same mm, now go to save as I want to save as black base shade now drag it again to the after effects Now this is the black base shade now drag it to this part now right click on there or you can set its blending mode to this uh, screen now see that black base okay that's fine now it's looking cool and uh, I think uh, for the cloud layer I have to make it more large okay now we have this grunge now select this grunge and uh, drag it to here okay that's fine and uh, go to uh, right click there effect mm, I think uh, good effect then blur sharpen I want this fast blur Okay, now 
set this blending mode to something like soft light you can see there now it's looking cool mm, now select all layers uh, control shift -E to make a new composition click on ok now go to effect and then uh, color correction i want this curve setting ok now go to this uh, blue channel i want something blue shade you can see on the screen something like film look you can say ok now see that again go to this photoshop and uh, this time uh, now choose your brush I want black base choose your brush white ok ctrl z ok now delete this layer back go to file then save as then circular light the circular light go to this after effects then i think uh, project click on ok now see that it's it's looking really nice okay now to go to composition i want to render it now add to render queue and uh, make sure you go to lossless in the lossless format i want this quick time and uh, format options i want 264 that is mandatory and uh, now click on okay this is the best setting to render it it takes less time and uh, then click on render the footage, footage is now rendering so thank you friends keep watching our inscription